What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to Oakfield Farm. So I totally forgot that I had a front loader for this thing. So we have went and bought a bucket, and we are well. We're cleaning up poos. What we're doing? It's a uh, well. It's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just kind of ignoring the cows. Let's be honest here. All right. So how much of this can we clean up? Can we get it all? We got it all. Sweet. Something we're gonna have to do is get a manure spreader. We're also gonna need to get a slurry spreader, but we will be collecting slurry over the next year to put down on the grass fields. And we just don't have enough as of yet. So we've got some rain coming very, very soon. So what we're gonna need to do so we're going to need to get this done as quick as possible. Hey DJ, what's this? Funny you should ask. This is Oakfield Farm. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we, uh, this is going to be harvest. Now, where do we put this? Nah, we'll just put it in here for now. Can we get it? Can, will it let us? Oh, nope. There we go. Let's just drop the bucket. Drop this. Got it. Nice. All right. And a tipper just for safe measures. There it is. Let's go ahead and just use this tractor. It doesn't matter. We could use the big one. We could use this one. Does not matter one bit. So here's what we've got to do. We have got to get some headlands done with this combine on this field over here this humongo cash crop soybean field it is massive it is huge and we are going to make some money so this is how i'm going to do this we're going to detach i'm going to leave that right there we're going to come down in here and I'm gonna do what I've been doing. We are going to kind of cheat the system a little bit here and go directly through the hedge and start our headland there. So let's get this unfolded. Ah, oh, crap. Some hedges are not, not solid. And that's one of them back there, unfortunately. Hey, let me throw. Let me in. Did, did somebody make these freaking solid what the heck you kidding I <laughs> the the header won't go through but but I can walk through as if it were nothing but the header physically will not go through I wonder, will the tractor go through? Yep, tractor goes through fine. But I can't get the header through. Well, that really puts a damper on what we were gonna do. Um, can we get, nope, can't go through there. Really? So, headers can't, this is interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to have to figure this out. I think we have figured it out. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to kill some crops. I'm sorry, crops. You don't... I know you don't deserve this, but... Frick, I got, I got stuff to do, man. All right. As few crops as we can kill. That's how many I want to kill. All right, so we're good there. Let's run through the bushes, seeing that the headers can't do it. And fire this up. Grab a hold of our header. Can we get it? Yes, got that. And let's... I say let's move this out of the way. Uh, actually, you know, it's not... Oh, I'm stuck on the freaking combine. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. There we go. 
Life doesn't want us to cheat. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, stupid, stupid. Can we not fix that crap? Jeez. I'm okay. I'm not frustrated. I'm not mad. Disappointed. <laughs> See if we can clear us a path here. All right, there we go. We want soybeans and we want a headland. So let's, well, let's do both. So we have got everything done. We've got the headlands done. Welcome back from the speedy. And we're squared off. All we got to do now is kind of just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This will not take very long. It didn't even take long to really to do the headlands. It worked just fine. One thing I am going to try to do is we're going to bring this down as well. I don't know if we can come through here with this header it's probably not gonna work and the header stops that is very interesting why do the headers have collisions but literally nothing else in the game does that it doesn't make any sense to me because I don't understand it can someone please explain that to me they thank you the question of the day why won't the headers go through when everything else will that's the question of the day. <laughs> so again, like I said, we're going to grab our, uh, we got our little Massey here. We're going to bring it in, try and do a little bit of help. I'm not sure what kind of help this is going to do, but we're going to try anyway. I don't know how long we are going to keep this little Massey. Reason being the, uh, crap, the place where uh, the only fields that we've really needed it for, well, those fields are, there we go, are going to be turned into grass fields after this year. Uh, when we plant, uh, it's either going to be this episode or the next episode. Either way, in one of those episodes, we will be planting grass in those fields, and those will be grass fields now. Uh, one of them was a grass field, when we started the game, but I have since deleted that. Oh, <laughs> that went further than I thought it would. And, uh, and so we're going to make it a grass field again, and we're going to make the other one a grass field as well. That way we can get our mower up in there, we get our balers up in there, and we can get all that done. That's the plan anyway. So wish me luck with that. Um, speaking of wishing me luck, I think we're going to try our square off because it's going to keep leaving these little sections here. So I'm going to try and at least go up and make it up as far as we can. Come on, little guy move. I want to bump through. Here we go. Here's that. Let's get this down here. Cruise control set to six miles an hour. Bring it back six miles an hour the first click of six and we are going to empty this guy out and we're going to go up and hopefully be able to turn that other massey around at the same time so everything seems to be going really well on oakfield right now we again we're going to need to get a manure spreader in this field right here i don't know if we're going to be doing wheat barley or canola 
It could be any of those. I'm not really sure. But I do know when we get into year three, because we're in year two right now, once we get midway point of year three, we will be planting corn in here, and this will be our silage field. So look forward to that. So let's get a little bit more work done. Let's go ahead and get this guy unloaded and uh, get up to the other Massey and hopefully get him either turned around or, or help squared off one of the two. Let's get to work. And we are all done with harvest. We're completely finished. It is over, baby. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. We got it. We finished up with a double dub. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let's lift up. Let's close up and fold up. Let's get that going. And we're going to do the same thing to the delta. There's that. Fold that. Headers up. Cool, cool. Now, let's hop in. 87 because well this isn't our first load not by a long shot this is i believe our second load and i was able to put about 5,000 liters in the main uh main silo so we are gonna have to go all the way out to the pig farm let's go ahead and cut our beacons on here nobody's coming that way oh i can't really see out that way Come on, get out of there. Let's go, oh gosh, there's a car coming. So, we are all finished with harvest. This year's harvest, year two harvest, it, wait, year two harvest, V2, whatever. <laughs> it's completely over. We are done, yes. So we're gonna take this up to the pig farm, we're gonna drop it in, and we're gonna see exactly how many soybeans we got i think we got a lot i mean it's definitely over a hundred thousand that's obvious i'm thinking that we're going to be over a hundred and fifty thousand and we may even be close to two hundred thousand and if we are close to two hundred thousand we're kind of screwed because we don't have anywhere else to put these things so we'll have to find somewhere and put them in like put them on the ground now we can do that we do have two big, uh, two big indoor buildings, so we could drop soybeans in there. We also have a kind of like a bunker building for root crop. We can put stuff in there if we really wanted to. I'm just not sure if the Brantner Power Push will fit in there. Maybe, maybe not. That is a question for another day. Let's go and cut on our turn signal, and let's pull in here now. How much money? Oh yeah, I forgot. We got uh, we got seed down there. We should really come and pick that up, and put it in our something cedar. There you go. <laughs> we'll do that uh, when we come back over. All right. I can't tell where the thing is. Back it straight up. That'll do. And let's dump in. Please don't give me the sun. I don't want to have to find anywhere to put this stuff. Come on, soybeans! They... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All but 15 liters? Really? You couldn't put the 15 liters in there? <clears throat> well, we got 200,000 liters of soybeans. 215,000 liters of soybeans. I'm almost tempted to just sell these. You know what? We're just gonna go do that. Oh, man. Goodness gracious, what are we close to? We are close to the top of the map. We're close to, was it Willow Springs? Willow something stores? Yeah. All right, well, let's, oh gosh, that's the wrong view. There we go. Let's head up there and let's get these 15 liters of soybeans sold. So not that it matters, but we're here <laughs> and we're gonna sell 15 liters. 
I can't imagine we're even going to get $15. Let's find out. There it is. $17. Hey, well, at least we didn't waste them. And that is the important part. Good. So now, we've got... Well, we've got some stuff to do. We need... My mind's going blank. Oh my goodness, I'm doomed. <laughs> Since we're already here at the store, let's go and cover this up. Let's turn this off and let's take a look at manure spreaders. Now, I have been very, 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 very ticky about the different manure spreaders and how much each one is and, and how expensive they are. They're very, very freaking expensive. And I don't really like that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy one, hopefully keep it for less than 30 minutes, and then sell it again. That, that is the plan. I would love to buy one and have it. Like, we could probably buy this Superflex and be okay. The only problem is it only holds 8,000 liters. So we're going to be filling this thing up right and left. And just to get rid of manure, that's going to take forever. And we could go with this, the tornado. But again, I'm not going to spend that much when it's literally going to be half of the money that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the big one, 32,000 liters. And then we're just going to use it and then just maybe sell it and get our money back. That's right. That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's do that. I'll see you at the farm and we're going to get this thing loaded up. We've got it. And we're a whole lot of money down. However, do not worry, do not fret, do not uh, worry or fret. <laughs> we are going to get this thing loaded up as quickly as humanly possible and get all of this manure spread. Shouldn't take long. Uh, I think we can pick up at 3,000 liters per bucket load. There we go. Actually, we need to pull this forward. We gotta go get the other thing. Where is my other tractor? Drop it, go, 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 go. We gotta do this, we gotta get the, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to do. We need wheel weights for this thing. So, we're gonna grab wheel weights. We're gonna grab the front loader. You know, the, the funny thing is, I had that little tractor, the uh, 383, I don't know why I call that the little tractor. We had the 383, and I was trying to use it for everything for the animals, and I noticed that when, well, the bucket that we had was too heavy when it was full, so we had to put a weight on the back. Well, then I realized it's still just not doing it fast enough. The animals are producing way too much, way too quickly. Wheel weight's 1,400, whatever, we'll spend it. We need the wheel weights bad. There we go. And the front loader, I believe I remember where I put it. Here we go. So... I quickly realized that really the only thing that that 383 is good for is doing um, <laughs> doing the water trans. So we may end up either getting rid of it or we may end up, well, keeping it and not doing much with it. So it's one or the other. It's not going to be... I guess there is no other option, is there? We got to figure out some way to incorporate it in because it's just sitting there right now. And as most of you know, I'm not a big fan of things just sitting there. So we're going to have to come up with a way to either incorporate the 383 or get rid of it and buy something else. But for right now, the 77 is running double duty. <laughs> duty. Oh, goodness. So, let's get this full, bucket load by bucket load, 3,000 liters at a time. And uh, how about this? I, I don't know if I've already asked a question today or not, but <laughs> if we haven't, and if we have, here's another one. What would you do with the 383? Would you keep it and just have it as a tractor around the farm? Or would you get rid of it and save up for maybe a 56 or possibly a... Oh, that's not a full load. Uh, 
a 56 or would you get another 77? I don't think we need another 77, but it would be kind of nice to have another tractor on the farm that was just a little bit bigger that could kind of handle some of the <laughs> duties. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I think a 56 would be the way to go. But if we're going to get a 56, we're going to have to take out another loan. So I think regardless of what we do, we will not be making that decision until we can get things sold. And uh, that may be what we buy with our money that we get from our wheat and barley sales. If you guys remember, we did have quite a bit of wheat and barley. Actually, I've already sold the wheat, so only we only have barley now, 138,000 liters. And at the height of that price, which would be, if we check it out here, um, God, it's not even going to pay for half of a new tractor. So maybe if we sell that Massey, we'll be able to buy a new one. Um, I do like having the old tractors around the farm. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse at this point. Anyway, what would you guys do? Would you keep the 383, even though there's really nothing we can use it for? Or would you sell it, bite the bullet, and get the 56? Tell me what you guys would do down in the comments section. I think the 56 would be good. Uh, however, the 77's kind of having trouble with the amount of manure that we're putting in now and we are picking i mean they're putting down eight to nine thousand liters a day a day <laughs> that's a whole lot of poo yo uh okay so this stuff we gotta go slow anyway so let's continue to get all this poo up get the rest of this up there we go got that i think we can get the rest of this in one load can we if we can that is good yes we can all right and we'll do one uh, one final sweep just to see if they've put down any manure since. There we go. That's empty. And let's back it up and let's see if they've put down any manure. Uh, there is some in there. Oh, speaking of some, somebody left the gate open. We'll have to make sure we shut that before we walk off. Okay, let's get this down pick up this last bit of manure it's not gonna be a whole lot but you know what it's more than zero and that's a good number to me back it up wow that was a cowception right there wasn't it tell you what i'm not a big fan of wheel weights but this massey looks good with the wheel weights all right let's see if we can do it yes <laughs> i love it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and sometimes i hate it all right, there we go. One last little bit. Cool. Let's back this up out of the way in case we need to drive through. Got it. Run over here and jump in. So we ended up getting 23,222 liters of manure. And that is manure that we will not have to pay for. And we're going to have to pay for the rest. <laughs> it sucks, but it is what it is, guys. So, what field are we going to put the manure on? I think maybe we'll put the manure on this field, just because it's it's already right here. And uh, it's a little bit easier to do. So, well, it's not squared off, is it? Actually, none of these fields are squared off. Let's be completely honest here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's use this field again. We are not going to be able to lay it all down. It's just get rid of what we have. Let's just bring it back right here. And I think I'm just going to set it on a worker so they can go in a straight-ish line. You know what? We're just going to do it ourselves. Unfold. All right. How the heck do I unfold? There we go. And let's turn it on. I decided not to hire a worker. Uh, the manure actually goes down a lot slower than I remember. Very cool. That means we can get a lot further with it. So let's lay it down, baby.
and we're almost done with this bit of manure i know that we've got some overlap but you know it is what it is all right that is all the manure that we had we ended up getting a little bit more than one single pass so let's go into our garage and <laughs> let's sell it we don't need it anymore bam so the rest of this is going to be solid fertilizer which is a uh, bit of a bit of a pity but it is what it is there's nothing we can do about that so guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already please subscribe if you guys have anything you want to see let me know down in the comment section and if you have any questions feel free to ask with that being said i hope you have a great day we will see you tomorrow for more adventures from here oakfield farm see you guys later have a great day peace